All right, New Phoenix. I've got three laps in. The setup is off of OSR from season one of this year. So I'm pretty sure it's built for daytime. And uh, the shocks have changed since then. So we're going to pretty much be pretending that we're in worse equipment than Timmy Hill or whoever the other drivers are at the back of the field in Xfinity. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an ass kicking, but we're going to do some laps and then do some trucks and try and just get a good feeling for the track and be prepared for Friday night for the final NIS race, which will be a full-length race here at Phoenix. So, uh, yeah, this setup is for 110-degree track temp, and we are 74 degrees. So... Yeah, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be probably really tight. I'm guessing we need to go down on the tape. Uh, we'll start the tape down at 65, just because our speeds are gonna be so much faster that the RPMs are gonna be higher up, and that's gonna cause us to want less tape. Even though it's cooler out, the actual air temperature doesn't really play a factor in that. It's all about lap times. So let's go try to get some laps. Um, track looks really good. I did a AI thing here and went and reported that they have the AI starting at the wrong spot, which is where you would start normally, and they said no, that's working as designed. Why is there a flagman with a checkered flag on the inside of pit road? Okay, that was weird. Is the flagman in the wrong spot? I think the flagman's in the wrong spot. Is that working as designed too? Okay, well, um, this is to get laps, so let's just get up on track illegally so that we don't start ahead of anyone, which I don't think would happen anyways. Let's feel this track out. This turn, what is now turn three, feels so much flatter than it was before. Um, I assume it's because of the inside wall that is uh, closer to the track maybe. One and two feels the same. You can come down here if you want to. The back stretch is just, it's so weird because we've, we've always had stands there and now we're switching to this thing. I just, I feel like I am so lost. Like, I feel like this is the dog leg, and it's just really confusing me. But frame rate has been really good. The lights look really good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to be a second off pace, it looks like, because I've seen some 26 eights in practice. We'll see how far down we can go. You know what? Just kind of test it out. See what it feels like. Really loose off the corner when you do that. This feels so weird, though. Like, there's no banking. I'm going to have to take a picture of it. Because I know they didn't really change the track surface. So it just it feels like... Old turn one is so much flatter. There's got to be a reason for that, why it feels that way. And I think it's just because you can't see to the inside until you're in the corner. But 
the car doesn't feel too terrible. The temps, we can probably go up on tape. Around 240. I mean, it's not going to matter. We're going to be so far off, I'm very sure. getting a little tight and uh, that's not gonna work out well so let's let's put a bit of tape back on we'll go 68 I don't know what to do with this shocks um, I guess this worked at Martinsville. I doubt it's going to work here because everyone always is at 250 for something that happens with the camber. But we're going to do that because that change I know and maybe it will give me a little feel. Maybe we'll just be self-spinning in the corner. Unfortunately, I can't go try it. You know what? We're the number 26 car anyways. I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. We're going to start dead last. Right. No. Got the number 28. That didn't do a lap. So, yeah, we're a second off. Um, oh, boy. Looking at... Uh, some really bad names in here. This could just be a complete mess. Alright, time for the race. Let's get everyone's paint scheme loaded up. Get ready to go. Yeah, we were going to get our butts kicked no matter what setup we had in, I think. So, it's really good that we are this low. I think people are getting ready for the Contender Series to get into the Coke Series. So, I see names from big teams that are trying to do things. front that need to load up. Go ahead and get in. Looks like most people have loaded. Here we are, last row. Frames are going to be hurting for a bit. Additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. All right, so we're doing 100 laps. Um, this place has been a caution fest in previous versions. So, gotta hope that it's not a caution fest in this one. Maybe with a little narrower dog leg, it won't be. Hey, Paterek has already ran into someone on pit road. One left to green. Well 
And will the leader start out of two because they're allowed to? Any point from when the pace car goes in to the start finish line, you can start. So if you're a leader, the thing you want to do is find out where you can go full throttle and start from there. Because then everyone else is going to be having to slow down for the final turn and you'll be going full throttle through it. So I think that is the trick you want to do. Outside. And the good news is, if you start there, right there at the end, or at the start of pit road, no one can pass until it goes green, and it won't go green until right about here. So, very, very, very stupid, but is what it is. Yeah, we're, we're in trouble. going to be lap traffic. side. Let's go find out. No. Get you a little better run to the line off of the high side. Oh yeah, car's already getting tight again. We can go 73 more laps, so... There might be green flag stops. People are going to have to be really risky about it, because... The optimal pit, if it were to go green the whole time, would be at lap 50. But then you've got 25 laps after that which a yellow can come out, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens if we get to that lap 50 mark, because we're going to be a little slower by then, I would assume, and you can make up a lot of time if you pit early, but then you got to hope that it goes green. We're not doing too bad, though. I was afraid we were going to lose the field the way they pulled away from us at the start, but... Car is neutral. Um, I think I could use it a little looser through center. But it might come around there. It kind of got loose on entry there, and I was kind of thinking about getting loose on exit. guy was doing that was on the inside, inside. and yep, 
not spun, but that's not going to bring out a caution because there's no one behind us. And he was down on the apron when we passed him. That was Hudson. How are you spinning out, Tyler? So I assume Paterek had some heating or engine power issues from running into the guy on pit road. Let's see how many uh, laps down he went. Okay, he's only one lap down from that pit stop. Kind of gives us a decent idea of what green flag stops will be like. Although, if he only took tape off and got back out on track, then maybe it will be a little longer. Yeah, we're not we're not making a whole lot of ground <laughs> at all. Um, the car has just gotten to that point where we can't really get anything out of it. We're just stuck and slow. Come down here, see if that gets us any turn. It really doesn't. All right, so. Time to go to last lap and start searching around. So what the second groove has to offer, and that is a little better exit. Way better through center, off. Are these guys gonna wreck for last place? It's kind of looking like it. Am I going to wreck the guy for last place? I nearly did. I threw it in there, and then it did not want to turn down. But I am liking this middle groove. Sixty-one laps until we need fuel. Gotta give I'm gonna call it one and two a thousand times, but three and four I need to get it figured out. exit to make up for how bad it is through the center. Does not look like it. Okay, so all the way to the bottom in three and four. And at least enter middle in one and two. And we didn't 
make it to the bottom. Just a bit tight, but we're gonna just live with it. I'm not gonna throw anything at it. We can probably put a little more tape on it. Bump it up to uh, 74. I really wish we had digital dashes. Much easier to just see a number than look down at a gauge and go, okay, that's it, that, and so it's here. While you're trying to drive and not be completely terrible. Leaders have got to be coming around. Nope, they're not behind us yet on the relative. There's another car that's behind us, the 10 car. Maybe he was also spun with Tyler? Oh well, every lap that I do here is going to be very good. Friday night, just get a feel of how to race this track because visually everything is different and that is a key part of racing. Go back to the middle of three and four, one and two that corner. Car just doesn't feel like it's got a whole lot of power. You just slam on the throttle. Not really uh, uh maybe. That wasn't really loose, that was me taking a shit entry and then everything going wrong after that. It kind of felt like it rolled over more than it got sideways. Right now though, in 23rd, and once strategy comes into play, that's where we're going to try to make up some ground. Twenty-eight threes right now. And really, that's not too far off the best I can do. So, at the moment, hitting early. Just had someone behind wreck. Hopefully that doesn't bring out. Yes, it does, and we're in the pit window, so now there's no strategy at all. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we were about a second off of our fast lap. Pit road's open. Where does it start? There it starts. Okay. First time going into the pits here. Oh, 
Alright, well, we're slow. We're gonna put tape on it. Tires 89.91 and 198 on the lefts. That's it, go! So, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, we're just slow. I think, you know, we came here with a setup that is outdated and not for the temp. So we just, uh, are a bit off. And looks like we got a bunch of people that got speeding penalties. But there's a few people sitting on pit road that I assume either sped or they had damage, but one of them didn't look damaged. We can make it from here, but now with a pay to wreck idiot in the back that was in the front, um, guessing it's going to be messy. So we're up to 19th because of uh, people getting damage fixed and people getting penalties. If I can get out of here with the top 20, uh, that would be a win because we are just dead slow. Maybe the tape will get us a bit more speed, but tape's not going to get us the speed that I need in order to uh, be closer to mid-pack. So we'll avoid getting ran over by people behind, and... Uh, Avoid all the people with pay to rec logos on their cars. And we'll see when the leader goes. It's really weird hearing that pace car is in and then you're like ready to go and then it's, oh wait, no, we got a half mile until we start. So a late start, it is. Outside does not get a good start. And the one car is wrecking. Clear outside. Caution, yellow flag. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed right now. So, we're gonna be doing this. Pit road is now open. Gonna be restarting on the outside this time. Maybe we'll get one person to pit in front of us for damage. Please, not two, just one. done. Alright. Well, this restart's going to be a little harder. Feels like that inside line can just gain a shit ton. Half that 24 car. Car 24, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Alright, well, 
We started it off good. But now everyone kind of knows that they've got to go all out on the starts because that's going to be the easiest place to get positions and well that's just NASCAR now. This track looks really good and it doesn't have the normal issues that new tracks do where it's, it's like massive frame hits. The biggest hit right now is the car is on track in front of me normally we're not in fields this big but yeah overall the track looks really good especially for a night track like normally their night lighting really sucks but the uh, the lights look good shadowing and lighting of objects around look good except for there's some gross looking cacti off in the distance that are like gray when they should just be black. You'll see it when we come around. Maybe you'll see it. Nope. Can't see it from here. I think it was just on TV camera where we could see it. But yeah, it's a uh, really good looking track. It's amazingly the same surface, but feels completely different. That turn that we're in right now, three and four, just like I said a thousand times already, it just feels like it's flat. One minute, six point one, two, five. <sighs> All right, mid race yawn. Let's get racing. The pace car is off. Be ready. Also, if I get the lead ever, I'm just going to gun it at pit road just because they were stupid enough to say it's working as designed. They can't. They can't say that I did anything wrong if that's how it's designed for AI. Get loose. Get loose, sir. Really should have just fell in behind, but 20 car gets shoved up the track by the 16. We got one loose off of four. One keeps it together. Contact ahead. Trap Tyler up there. That didn't work. Well, it sucks that we got stuck behind that, but better than running into it or going three wide. Oh fuck, it's loose. Just a little loose on gas. Tyler's got something that turns into one. Turns into that corner. I can't fucking turn into that corner. Or I'm doing something really wrong. You know what? We've got track position, and we're just 
kind of keeping it. There's going to be a few people that come through and pass us easy, but got ahead of some people, and we might be able to stay. I hope, but the car definitely needs to be looser. was going to go to the outside, I was going to dive it in, and he cut down at the last minute. Nearly wrecked him. hot and then tried to keep the momentum going through it and got very loose on me on exit. This might get us past, but I need to go feel it out, see if it feels any better. There we go. Decent run out of entry though because I suck at three and four. You know what though? Eighteenth, not bad. Also feel like we're gonna go really slow in about 20 laps. And looks like we can throw more tape at it, so looks we got that option. shot. It's been some very tough racing. Even though we're not really side by side or making any pass attempts, it's got to go 100% right now with this. Which worrisome because normally when I go 100% that means the tires go 0% later on. If I had a setup that was a little quicker we could just kind of chill and hope that it comes back to us but everyone seems to be right around the same pace really do much. Miss the corner. That's going to lose us a bit of time on entry. Can we get any exit speed? Pulling 
away from the people behind. We got one in the wall at the back of the field. Here comes the massive idiot. I'll have to just get out of the way before we get wrecked. back to finally get up here. Got the run that we needed. Nope, just died. All right. I can feel the tires just uh, not wanting to do anything now, so... Just gotta fall in, run our laps, hope that it gets better. there and it might actually have helped me a bit. from it and made a pass. I think maybe his uh, latency or something is high because I've seen him hit the wall a few times out of the corner.
couple of people up ahead that we might be able to get to, but I'm very doubtful. What we gotta do is just hit our marks and we can stay with the 20 ahead of us. center of that. Okay, well, I have no idea what the 17's doing, but apparently his driving in 500 miles an hour into the entry of the corner is not working out for him. Who would have thought? He's just conserving tires so that he can get 15th? I have no idea. But if I can get around this 20, it would be very helpful. Figured he was going to slide up like that. Cut down, too loose. Don't overdrive this. Should have the pass done. Outside is clear. Inside. Still there. Clear. It was a bad entry by me. I thought he was gonna cut it back, and he did, and I just fucked it up. Alright, let's get away from him. Try to catch up with the 25. I mean, for being a set that's from uh, season one, built for a temperature of 110, and uh, really not having laps on it, this isn't turning out too bad as the number 26. I think track position is just huge here. Just because it is so difficult to make a pass. Yeah, that didn't work. I tried to cut it down. It got loose. Can't diamond that corner. There's too much wheel in it. We are 28 to go. That was the longest 10 laps of my life. It's really starting to not want to slow down, turn, or do anything. on exit. I just need to not overdrive entry now. Not get on it too hard. Bring the tire temps back down a bit. Hopefully we don't have to do a late race restart. three wide there. Right around the bottom felt really good there. Looks like we'll have to go back down there.
that wasn't good because I just did not drive it well. Still gain time on everyone though. It's just a little loose down low for three and four. Figured he was gonna go low, so we're gonna go middle. some issues. Trying to follow him through. He gets loose. Try to be really aggressive. Just got screwed by him getting loose there. And None of us get the spot, and we lose two tenths to the cars behind. Tried to scare him up. All right, we gotta find a way around this guy. He has gone to shit and is just blocking. Loose. because it's making it tighter on exit. Loose on exit there. They're fighting for spots behind us. So that's lost them um, almost a second. completely misses the corner, and if he wants to spin himself, he definitely can. Fuck. Should've just ran into him, but we got a good run going. Get a top 15 though, if we could get around him quickly. He's getting loose off the corner, running that low line, and then we get a big run out of the corner, so we just need him to fuck that up once. Loose, big counter steer. Just can't run the bottom anymore. Not through one and two. 
and it gets loose if I try to run the bottom through three and four, so just adjust to the car, run the middle here, and wait for him to make a mistake. Just no one can do anything. There's not been a whole lot of passing that's happened. But it's been really good racing. Like, I'm not going to complain. This has been a really fun race. It doesn't normally happen. Oh, that was not good. That was like... Yeah, there's some heat issues happening now with the right rear maybe left rear might be a left rear where heat issue but it got slimy there like slimy off corner slimy under braking like I just mean like everything was just soft and like felt jello-y I guess is the best way to put it didn't feel like a race car. So all the way slow and around the bottom in three and four. And we're gonna go middle one and two. And this is just I think all gonna tighten up right at the end. high there is probably going to do a little snap it does just a baby snap but that heated up the right rear and then as I turned it down it started to heat the right rear up again little slide by the right rear ease onto it prevent sliding because he's going to be pushing even harder to try to get around the 21 and eventually he's going to make a mistake That was a really bad corner. Too low, too slow. And we just lost all the ground that we needed to have. He just had a big slide though. His right rear is gonna be burning up right now. If he screws up off of two, or off of four. God, this is gonna be so annoying this week until I get this right. He just did another big slide on entry. right rear is not going to be happy soon. Keep on sliding it. Oh, that time he slid the right front. I don't know what happened up there with the 12 car. And we're sliding the right rear. Five to go. All right, four more laps. That was big counters here.
another big counter steer. He hasn't been sliding, so I think he's resetting, taking a pair of his tires for one last attempt. Two left to go. Two to go. No yellow, please. Stomp on it. Is he going to get loose? Almost. Had to try something wasn't there. Should have waited for exit, but it's fine. 17th place, way better than I thought we were ever going to get. So I am extremely happy with that because we just pulled away from everyone else behind. And that is not bad for a setup that <laughs> probably should not have ever even been loaded into the car. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. 70, 73, 99, 93. So, car was tight. Could have been a little looser. I think that would have helped it. But yeah. Uh, that is a Phoenix 110 set. With a couple of clicks on the front bar. Let's uh, go take a look at what happened out there not a whole lot but we'll find out what happened to Tyler 22 is gonna eat the wall and the 15 is gonna eat the wall big eat the wall and oh so, yeah, that's just a product of this stupid layout. If we had a wall all the way around here, you wouldn't have that. But 10 comes down because he assumes a 2 is going to be going to the dog leg. They hit. That makes the 10 go even further left. And then that gets both of them. They both go spinning. No caution, though, because they're on the apron even though that's part of the track. Prediction code. 19 with his damage from pay to wreck on pit road. Although it looks like it got a little more damage somehow. Pay to wreck puts it in the wall. And yeah, Tyler had something funky going on because his car even looks jittery on the replays. Might have been a real tap. That might have been a real tap since his car turned and stayed up there. That was a real tap. And then he just full throttles it into the corner and causes a yellow. How nice. And the restart. Well, that 
is a Deval Creative paint scheme. You know, I told Dylan this paint scheme wasn't good enough. He didn't listen to me, and now it is wrecked. I told him that the line needed to go here to match up with the A-frame. All he needed was that right there. And that is why the one car wrecked. So, Dylan, that is on you. He was going to run into the back of someone, but apparently it's just showing him for no reason. So when he gets sent up the track, Hudson was working the high side. No, he's really dragging the wall. That wasn't prediction code. And is the paint scheme going to cause him to hit the wall? It does. Oh my god, this paint scheme is going to wreck him again. Into the wall. Paint scheme going to run him into this car? It does! Look at this paint scheme! Dylan! Fix it. And pay to wreck. Hits the wall. Also, pay to finish behind me on a spring setup. <laughs> there's, there's something up with the prediction code, I think. Okay, how he bounced off the wall there and then made a pass? I don't know. Something's up with these walls. Most contact. If one drags the wall, the three gets sent. And pay to wreck and get paid to beat me. Last lap. No, it wasn't. That was someone trying to cause a yellow. Hey, what the fuck was that? Well, something happened beforehand. Thirteen gets loose. Okay. I have no idea. Just a mistake. He lets him stay ahead of him. And pay to finish behind me is wrecking. Oh. Why do I call him pay to wreck? It's so mean. Oh, this is not going to be good. Lots of contact out there. Luckily, not a lot of yellows. Hit the wall, just a little scrape. And he comes off the fat corner faster. Probably not faster, but 20 into the wall. Three almost into the wall. 
wall and almost into Tyler. And, well, everyone's running into each other back here. And that's it. So, you know what? That was a great race. We had a lot of fun. Uh, I finished better than I should have. And I feel pretty good about what I was able to do there. So, let's uh, take a look at the results. And we gain 11 I rating, gain 7 safety rating, and, uh, yeah, you know what, 3 tenths off, best lap time. That's not terrible for uh, what I thought we were going to be. I found a little bit more speed there, adding the tape helped, probably could have went a little further, and maybe just a little looser through center then I wouldn't have had so much wheel in it, and then it wouldn't have been snapping on exit, but yeah, not bad. Got some laps, and uh, well, I mean, that was a tough strength field, so feel pretty good about it. Hope you enjoyed the race. Thanks for watching.